One thing everybody always said about Kate was she was first and foremost a mother. Extremely caring, loving, just very happy in the company of her children. But I, I always felt she gave it a little bit extra because she put herself last. Kate and I had three children, Harry, and Lara, and when Harry was 10 and Lara was eight, we then had number three, Robbie. Kate spent most of her time holding on to him, going like this, and Robbie going, Mummy, let me go, and they just had the most wonderful relationship. We were a very happy little family. The diagnosis was obviously devastating for everybody. Um, I, I can't describe how um, it seemed unreal. Kate and I never talked about her dying. Three years after the diagnosis, we were in the car on the way back from the doctor's surgery when he had just said she had six weeks to live. She said, darling, I think it's time we talked we really talked. I said, yes, I agree. She said, but I'm too tired now. Let's do it tomorrow. She came home and went to bed and she died on the Monday morning. The hardest thing with Robbie was I couldn't fix it for him. The moments I remember more than any were tears at bedtime. I'm just saying I wish I could see Mummy again. We became very much closer very quickly. He needed me and I needed him. Apart from being a beautiful little chap, from even when he was tiny, it was clear that he was very, very kind. But then the experience gives you greater empathy, and he had a huge well of um, kindness. Do you enjoy that? Yeah. From my point of view, I thought, well, this is one person. This is one person who isn't leaving me. he'd seen Mummy go through it. I can't describe the feeling of pride in him that we had. Total adoration for him and the way he put up with it all. I had a lot to say to him. Um, and it was all, none of it was forced, it was all true. I told him I was very, very proud of him. I loved him very much, which of course I did, um, and that his brother and sister loved him very much, and his mummy loved him very much. There was nothing I wanted to say to him that I didn't get to say to him, even down to telling him it was OK to let go and leave us. It's OK to let go. Mummy's waiting for you.
one in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us to change these odds. To donate £10, text FIGHT to 70404 or to donate online, go to channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you will give will go directly to funding vital research.